Right from the position title, we have the ACES acronym, which stands for Amazon Customer Excellence System. Notice there is a considerable amount of information about this team, which is always a useful read. Working in operations requires a more particular skill set when compared to other areas such as AWS. If we continue looking at uh, generalities, notice that particularly for the roles on LinkedIn, the seniority is also known. For senior roles, unless otherwise specified, all principles apply. The requirements get even broader for management level roles. Looking at the job description itself, it starts with generalities about the role and uh, uses role-specific acronyms, which means that the candidate must be familiar with these terms. Also, methodology specific to a program manager such as Six Sigma and Lean. It's a must to refresh your knowledge of these approaches for the interview. Now, let's look at the following statement. To take on the toughest ATS problems and opportunity areas in cost, service and quality. Now, how can they test someone for this type of aptitude? Questions that come to mind are, tell me about the time when you identified an opportunity area to optimize costs, or how do you make trade-offs between quality and cost, or what is the toughest problem that you encountered recently? Let's continue with another highlight. You will create and refine robust processes that fully leverage existing technologies while highlighting areas of, for future investments. An interesting question would be, tell me about the time when you designed and refined a complex process. The successful program manager will have the extreme bias for action needed in a startup environment. Now, bias for action is a leadership principle at Amazon. Some questions might include, tell me about the time when you had to quickly adjust your work priorities to meet changing demands. Or tell me about the time when you had foreseen a potential issue in a project and took preventive measures to overcome it. Leverage a deep understanding of operational barriers to implement mitigation strategies. Now this reminds me of Dive Deep, another important principle for this role. Tell me about the time when you had a complex problem that required a lot of in-depth analysis. And think long-term about how to scale processes. Now, long-term thinking versus short-lived success is the behavior highlighted in the ownership principle. Tell me about the time when you sacrifice short-term success for long-term value. Communication, problem-solving and dealing with ambiguity are musts. Tell me about the time when you had an ambiguous project or tell me about the time when you apologized to someone. Spareheading new initiatives that enable growth, enhance our processes and lower costs for our customers. Notice again the emphasis on processes and costs within a customer-focused environment. This can be an indication of customer obsession, the most important principle at Amazon. Tell me about the time when you had to deal with a difficult customer. Innovating to improve customer experience and remove costs from our network. Now this is invent and simplify, another leadership principle that can be tested using uh, what's your most recent invention. Analyzing and solving operational barriers with a focus on understanding root causes. So this is about problem solving within a dive deep context which I previously covered. Managing backlog of programs and coordinating prioritization with internal and external project owners. So prioritization can be tested like this. Tell me about the time when you had to deal with competing priorities. Building new tools and metrics that help streamline daily operations. Notice the use of the keyword metric that can be tested, tested within a dive deep context with the following question. Tell me about an interesting metric that you designed to identify and eventually improve something. Willingness to challenge and influence senior leaders. Now this is about negotiation skills and is usually tested using uh, have backbone, disagree and commit as a principle. For example, tell me about the time when you had an idea that was refused support by upper management. Ability to drive projects from initially ambiguous states. Notice again the use of the keyword ambiguous. Demonstrated analytical and quantitative skills and ability to use hard data and metrics to back up assumptions and develop business cases. Now this is again a different uh, reference to metrics and quantifiable information in general, which is always important when crafting and communicating your answers. Ability to work in a fast-paced environment. Again, this is a reference to bias for action. High attention to detail and proven ability to manage competing priorities simultaneously. And once more, the behavior specific to dive deep. 
Now, to be honest, there is a bit of uh, overemphasis on these things in this specific job description. Like, for example, here is something that gets repeated over and over again. Demonstrable problem solving mathematical and analytical skills using data to drive decision in a business environment or highly analytical and comfortable with uh, large anal analysis. Ability to operate at both a strategic and operational level or practice the working knowledge of Six Sigma tools and lean techniques. Now let's look at another example for a different role on Amazon's website this time and uh, the requirements uh, seem to be more concise here. As before, notice the category of the job. Notice the extra information about the category and while in this case it's not particularly useful, I found a ton of useful insights for many other types of roles. Now let's go back at the job description. Beginning uh, of the job description is pretty generic with a high level overview of the role. The third paragraph is where the interesting content begins. The ideal candidate will have strong customer experience, intuition, business and product sense combined with a solid understanding of technical concepts. Now possible questions here can be, can you think uh, of a time when you foresaw a customer request and how you handled the situation? And not uh, be hindered by ambiguity or competing priorities. So as with the previous example, the ambiguity keyword is again mentioned. Can you think of a time when you had to deal with an ambiguous situation? Or tell me about the time when you had the competing priorities. High judgment, ability to influence, analytical talent, exceptional communication and leadership are essential to success for this role. Now this is another golden mine for possible interview questions. Tell me about the long-term project that you managed. Or tell me about the time when you influenced the decision. Or tell me about the time when you motivated a group of individuals. Proven negotiating skills, influencing abilities and relationship management experience. Tell me about the time when you had to negotiate with a client. Or when you negotiate with others in your organization to reach an agreement. Strong organizational skills including prioritizing, scheduling, time management and meeting deadlines. Tell me about the time when you failed to deliver something significant on time. Solid communication skills, verbal and written. Tell me about the time when you successfully pitched an idea to upper management. Detail-oriented. When you had a complex problem that required a lot of in-depth analysis. Ability to seamlessly work functional and organizational boundaries and uh, reputation for influencing others and earning trust across levels of organizations. Tell me about the time when you received negative feedback from your manager within the earned trust principle. Proven track record of delivering initiatives from conception, from conception through completion of large-scale projects. A time when you delivered on a long-term project and these on leadership principle are right a lot. Ability to think strategically and tactically with a strong attention to detail. Tell me about the time when you, did not enough, when you did not have enough data to develop a strategy. Or tell me about the time when you were 75% of project and had to pivot strategy. This is on the leadership principle of deliver results. Strong analytical and quantitative skills, experience using data and metrics to test theories, confirm assumptions and measure success. What is your most successful project? Or Tell me about the time when you use data to determine the best strategy. Proven ability to identify, analyze and solve ambiguous problems independently with an exceptional attention to detail. Tell me about the time when you analyze the complex situation or when you perform root cause analysis. Technical aptitude and agility to learn web-based tools. Think of a time when you had to choose between uh, two technologies for a project. Proven track record of uh, taking ownership and driving results. Can you think of a time when you stepped in a complex project that uh, was in the weeds? And finally, let's look at the job description for a program manager at Facebook. The category is pretty clear from both the job description and the category tag. Facebook's mission is to give people the power to build community and bring the world closer together. Notice from the beginning the emphasis on the mission, and this is apparently how Sheryl Sandberg starts every meeting, so this is also a direct pitch to Facebook's core values as well. 
Then it goes on with the general description of the company in the opening paragraph. The second paragraph is uh, a bit more specific to the role and I could get picky and extract some information from here, but I know the good stuff is in the following section. Demonstrate strong understanding of the supported domain and conduct deep analysis of the problem space. So deep analysis can be tested using tell me about the time and you had to dive deep to understand the root cause of a problem. Define process end-to-end -end and drive improvements for maximum impact. Tell me about the time when you designed an end-to-end -end process for maximum impact. Lead process engineering and or automation efforts to support crushed functional partners in operation, operationalization and scaling efforts. Tell me about the project in which you supported cross-functional partners. Quantify operational issues, measure impact, prioritize development resources in areas that will deliver the greatest impact. Tell me about the metric that you invented. Or what's your most impactful project as a program manager. Or tell me about the time when you had competing priorities in development. Review operational challenges and help determine process efficiencies. Give me an example of when you improved the efficiency of a process. Foster a culture of data-driven decision-making. Tell me about the time when you use data to develop a strategy. Communication experience across, across technical and non-technical stakeholders. Tell me about the time when you had to apologize to someone. Or tell me about the time when you had to motivate your team. Demonstrate the track record of delivering business value using technology situations in high-tech operations space. Tell me about the time when you delivered on a complex project. Experience influencing stakeholders and partner programs. Tell me about the time when you negotiated with others in your organization to reach an agreement. Experience collaborating with different individuals across the organization and within other geographies. Tell me about the time when you collaborated with members from a different geography. Analytical problem-solving negotiation and organizational experience. Tell me about the time when you missed an obvious solution to a problem. Experience in evaluating, defining and improving end-to-end -end processes. And as you might expect, there's also some overlap uh, for the more important qualities. Be independent and uh, thorough in examination and analysis alongside results-oriented ability to drive projects end-to-end -end independently. Tell me about the time when you took ownership of a complex project that was in the weeds. So as you can see in these examples, there are many clues behind the job description and it is often a worthwhile exercise in a job interview. As always, I hope you found this uh, video useful and thank you very much for watching.